not this uh, camera, okay? It's like literally teetering on the edge, just like my life. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have um, a pretty wild story to tell you guys. On my Instagram story a few days ago, I was like, something wild happened. And I'm about to tell you guys that wild thing that happened. So let's just get right into it. Um, the other day, I'm like hanging out with Ari. She's on tummy time. We're chilling. Um, and I hear all the dogs start barking. All my stories start off like this. It's like the prelude to like some crazy shit happening. So I hear the dogs barking. And then Tracy comes in and she's like, like giving me a look and I'm like, what? And I kind of had a feeling what was happening, but essentially um, DCFS came again. Um, actually here in Florida, where they call it DCF or something, whatever, DCFS came here again. I think that was what, two days ago? And I was like, we both looked at each other because, like, we're like, I can't believe this is happening again. So, it was the same woman that had come here the first time. And we both, like, looked at each other and I'm like, oh, gosh. What? What now? What? What now? So, she's like, so, essentially, the report said that there was a video of Noah making a pit bull fight baby Ari. Huh? Say what? What'd you say? What? But she's like, do you know like what video they could be talking about? And I was like, yeah, probably this like live video. We were on TikTok live and Ari was on the couch with Noah and Addie was on the couch as well, which is Noah's dog that is certainly not a pit bull. And Addie always gets like jealous around Ari, so she's like trying to like get in there and play with them. And she had like her bone in her mouth, like, play with me too. And on the live, people were like, oh my god, someone needs to call Child Protective Services. That dog gets like resource guarding. And I'm like, what in the fuck is that? Resource guarding? The dog has a damn bone in its mouth because it's a dog and it's like wanting to play. Like, resource guarding? What the? I've never heard that. What? Whatever. Anyways. Yeah, I was like, wow, yeah, that's probably the video they're talking about where Addie's like close to Ari and people were like freaking out or something. Then she talked to Noah and we like, he came out of the shower and he's like, what, like, what now? And she told him and we both just start laughing because it's absolutely ridiculous. And um, she's like, yeah, this isn't even Pippa. I'm like, yeah, obviously, like, and even if it was like, a pit bull that we had here. Um, pit bulls, it's a huge stigma that pit bulls are like mean, a mean breed. Like they're actually not a mean breed. People use them for fighting. She was like, yeah, we were just closing out your case when this call came in and it was flagged by the hotline. So anytime a call is flagged by the hotline, they are required by law to come to the house. Um, so obviously, this was a completely false and fabricated report because that never occurred and it was a lie. And it was a blatant lie. I'm laughing in this video, but it really isn't funny. It's not a laughing matter. Um, this person or these people that are calling are clearly doing it out of a hateful vendetta. Um, they're not worried about Ari. It's, she was never fighting a pit bull. And so it's clear to me that these people are trying to just cause havoc in our lives because they don't like us. Using a government entity 
or state entity like uh, DTFS to you to make a false report is against the law. You can go to jail for um, up to five years. It is a felony. So we are going to be um, pursuing an investigation and we already have started the process of investigating this because this has happened uh, several times and many of these reports that are coming in aren't out of goodwill. Um, they're completely fabricated lies. Um, and you can't do that. It's against the law. You can be charged up to $10,000 on top of going to jail for five years. So um, essentially we're in contact with the Broward County District Attorney's Office and we're going to be pursuing an investigation because enough is enough and we don't deserve this. Um, so, you know, the person that made the call was anonymous, but because we are pursuing an investigation, um, there's ways of finding out who it is. Like, they have recordings of the calls that were made, um, so if it's someone we know, we could, like, make a voice ID that could be a thing, um, but there's other ways of finding out, like, a phone number and stuff like that, so... We're going to be pursuing, um, trying to figure out who is making these false reports, um, because I believe that we deserve justice for them doing this to us in, um, an effort to cause harm to our family. With that being said, I will keep you guys updated on this whole process as much as I can, um, and... I just hope that, you know, whoever is calling, um, you know, this is a big conversation to be had about people, you know, calling and making false reports and causing harm to a family. That isn't fair. Um, just because you don't like someone on the internet doesn't give you a right to cause such hurt. Um, to a family, it's not fair at all. In Chicago, we didn't really pursue an investigation because I had way too much going on. I was postpartum, I was healing, I had like a newborn. But now, like, you know, we're settled. We have a lot of support now, so we have the time and the resources to be able to um, figure out who is doing this and at least try and come to some resolution and some peace so that it doesn't keep on happening. I hope we can do that, and... Um... Do I have anything else to say? What we were told is that when she left, um, she was like, alright, my supervisor just told me I have to write this up in my notes, and then as soon as I write this up, I'm gonna close you guys out. Um, obviously, She's aware that this is due to internet hate and trolls, um, and the wasting of resources and time for a child that potentially needs them honestly disgusts me. The fact that people are wasting these individuals' time coming out here when they could be going to a house where a child is genuinely in danger. I hope that the person that made that call thinks about that. So, all right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you next time.